You have like 30 minutes like to drive, get out of town, except for the fact that the accuracy isn't good with a lot of them. So I'm, you may actually drive to where it fucking I hits. I am going to rape and pillage my ass off if that's what's happening. In 30 minutes? Yeah. 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 First person. No, not yeah, the first who's, person. Yeah, who's nearby? <laughs> I'm going to rape someone. But you should probably just call some family, you fucking psycho. No, but after you call your family. <laughs> After you call your family. In or 30 during, minutes, you can during. get that done? Hey, Bob, I love you. I don't have a big family. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a hey, big family. Yeah. It was awesome. Bradley, Good ride, Bradley, Bradley, Bradley's going to rape somebody and he's going to be like, oh shit, it was a mistake. We're going to stop talking <laughs> about raping people because <laughs> we're going to get fucking yanked. All right, you're going to assault somebody. Yes, um, in a sexual manner. Yeah, in a se- that's actually, I mean, I guess that's a somewhat fun uh, scenario to entertain. Fun? No, I mean, like, it's for what, a the, show for us to talk about. Like, post, what, you have 30 minutes. What do you do? What are you going to do in 30 minutes? 30 minutes, you, okay, so you got yeah. 30 minutes to live, or I mean, because there's a new coming. Yeah. What would you do? Well, are, is it guaranteed it's going to drop down directly where you're at? You don't, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Come on. Now. They're not accurate. You already cited know, those facts. I know. But I'm saying, we're, are, we, are, we, are we determining that it's that you're not in, in a safe situation where you're going to live? You're not sure. You're not sure. You're not sure. All okay. you know is that there's a fucking nuclear weapon that's going to drop somewhere in your vicinity and you have a half hour to... Fucking. It's just breaking, breaking. Your fucking phone goes yeah, off. As far as you know, you have a half hour to live. Yeah. My shit would be on silent. I wouldn't even get the message. <laughs> no, but it'd be like one, it'd be like one of those Amber Alerts, and you know, just it would, it would also depend upon what time of day you, or yeah. night. Yeah. yeah. Well, what but if people you're are, people are so up? stupid? Like I remember when there was tsunami warnings, people were walking to the boardwalk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if there was a nuclear warning, I get bliss. I guarantee you, people uh, yeah, would right. walk to like Mount Soledad just to look at downtown. Well, it. I'd rather get blasted with it than fucking live in the fallout. Nah, like, yeah. Yeah, if you're gonna be in the area that's a fallout, I'm not oh, yeah. dying that fucking radiation death. And I'm that's a slow, miserable, oh. fucking painful death too. I'm getting on a jet ski and I'm just going <laughs> south. <laughs> so the gas runs out. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm, no, just I'm, pictu- I'm going west. Like, I'm, what do you mean? I'm just picturing like Dom being like a James Bond type guy where he's got like this <laughs> jet, like blacked out, murdered out jet ski yeah. hidden somewhere underneath the fucking bunker but, beneath dun, dun, the dun, chest. Dun, dun, what, you, what you really need is one of those. What you need is one of those. Those personal subs, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, wouldn't Personal the best stuff. thing to be, have, be just get your scuba gear and just go underwater for a while? For a while? For yeah. how long? What do you mean? For, yeah, <laughs> for the next 20 five minutes? years? <laughs> I mean, just for the blast, at least. Well, no, the, the water would boil. Yeah. The fucking ocean water would boil. Assume- like, you're fucksville. And then the radiation comes in 20 minutes later. You're so fucked. If you're near the blast, you're, you're vaporized. You're yeah. done. Yeah. If if you're even on the outskirts, that's where the I think that's the that's worst. That's the worst. Area. Yeah, yeah. There, there was a, one of the articles was like you'd rather be in the in the direct blast than like the the immediate outside oh, yeah. portion of it. Yeah, you had to do all that radiation training too, right? Yeah, that yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. bullshit. Yeah. They're yeah. like, oh, if you're inside, tape up the window. I think ah. it's still getting through, fam. Yeah, fuck yeah. They're like tape yeah, up have the window. Have you seen the shitty apartments here in San Diego? Little did you know, cardboard yeah. is impermeable <laughs> by radiation. Well, you're supposed to like duct tape all the seat or all yeah. the little, you know. And then you can take pills that'll hold it off a little bit longer. Yeah, it's uh, iodine. Iodine, yeah, yeah. But you're so fucked. And I, I don't want to deal with the, the pills. I can't even take vitamins. Really? <laughs> I mean, you're no. One of those? No, no, no. But I mean, are you one of those that like you have a real difficult time taking pills? What's, no. what's oh, the okay. fallout time like for you to be able to safely go outside? Is 22 <laughs> seconds. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, one, one thousand, two, one. Th- okay, we're isn't good. it like <laughs> isn't it like two or three days before all the shit like actually finally settles, all the dust? I, I mean, they they were saying that. I mean, I, I've seen that. You know, just a few nukes is like nuclear winter, basically. So, and it, like fifty years of. Well, yeah, there's geez. radiation. That's yeah. there, but I'm talking about like the. No, no, no. I'm saying like if if a few like it's more than one, but it's like you know a handful of nukes hit. Then it's nuclear winter on the whole planet, and it's covered for years. Yeah, well, there's that too. We still haven't said what the fuck we do in a half hour. I'm calling my family. If you're doing Duct-tick. anything but that, <laughs> yeah. fucking kill yourself. You're not a good person. Damn, I'm killing myself. <laughs> I was thinking about other shit. Like what? You're gonna go buy a Phantom I on mean, credit? Steal <laughs> one. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just doing Fuckin- something gangster. I don't know. Something gangster. After you call your, can you please call your family? Yeah. All right. Thank that, you. that would be a great premise for a show of like everybody doing the crazy shit before like the thirty minutes before the bomb. That would goes be off. a great and movie then, though. And, like, then, and then just have nothing happen. Yeah. <laughs> so following if, ten people and yeah. what they're doing and during the thirty people minute are time. Arrested. People yeah. are ruining their fucking lives. <laughs> there, there's an Australian really uh, movie that was on Netflix. I don't know what it's called. Mad Dude, Max. Every time I fucking reference a movie or a TV show or a documentary, the comments are like, "Scoopy was that." A- 
Yeah. Bitch, I don't know the fucking name. Yeah, they fucking, fucking Google it. Real oh, you. I just, I just watch. Yeah, yeah just watch. I don't it's on TV. All Fuck it. But it was, it was kind of like. I mean, it did end up happening. I don't remember the whole, the whole thing. But basically, the world is gonna end. It's like a fiery fucking death, mm -hmm. and uh, it's Australia, and they're just like getting crazy, and they're partying, and you know they have a couple of days though. Bunch of ugly, cunty women yeah. running around. I mean, if you have a couple of days, yeah, I'm, I'm getting crazy. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. You gonna kill somebody? No. Something gangster. I mean, yeah, I don't, I'm not killing somebody. Why not? You got blood on your hands. No, Dom would steal some shit. It, like, be, it has to be something like super like epic. Like a fucking Lambo. But is it, no, is like is it really fucking... stealing it if it's not going to matter? Yeah, it's still, yeah, it's still, still, stealing. It's still a crime. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, going is somebody the... really going to chase you for their for their car? I mean, uh, probably. If, if you're trying to steal a jet, for the from same the reason people military. would run to the fucking beach wanting to look at a tsunami, you know. But that whole time you got to run around, or like hoping you don't get killed, because it's going to be psychopaths running around just yeah. killing people. What was that movie? Uh, Purge. Jesus Christ, can I, <laughs> can I at least start? <laughs> um, I'll take movies for 500, yeah, I mean, Alex. He was a good guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. it was back in the day. It was, what was it called? Like blackout or something where all of LA County has a like a, a blackout that can't get repaired for like months. And people are just like brought, like looting each other's homes. Like uh, people are having to like band together to try to get out of town, like siphoning off gas just so they could fucking drive out far enough to. Yeah, I mean, that would be an EMP. Yeah. It would kill all yeah. electronics. That would be funny. There was another movie. Viggo Mortensen was in it that uh, was a post yes, the post road. The road. Good movie. That was a good movie. Yeah, that like shit was it. dark. And super. You sad. got the name right. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. First time, last time, bitch. <laughs> what? This All is right. depressing. That movie is super this dark. Is, this is a shitty <laughs> yeah, fucking a, note like to the, start the show. That's on. like the darkest post-apocalyptic -apoc movie I've ever seen. Who yeah, that? Is. Who's the chick in that? Uh, oh. It's a tall, the tall model bitch mm -hmm. from. Uh, fuck, she's the in Monster. Isn't that her? Charlize Theron? Yeah. God damn that ass. <laughs> she's Let's tall bring as it out. Oh, she's, she's naked in that new movie. Uh, she's tall as um, What the fuck is it? Uh, Atomic Blonde. Ah, she's in the back the back nine. Though. I'm done with her. I'm just saying, in that in those old in movies, movie. you beat those cheeks right Yeah, now. of course. I beat a homeless chick's cheeks fucking <laughs> around the corner. I wouldn't <laughs> give a fuck. Pussy's pussy out here. Uh, there's a few homeless ones in PB you can get at if you really want. I'm sure. What, what? Would you fuck a homeless chick if she begged you with 30 minutes left? Yes. <laughs> how, how hot of a homeless chick? I mean, she's pretty cute, but you know. When she, was the last time she showered? Ooh, days. I mean, she's been on the street a while. It's weeks. And she's been doing meth, like, nonstop, too. Yeah. So you got, like. That. But you're not sure if she's doing meth, but it looks like yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, you By know. the teeth. By the teeth. <laughs> and she's talking to herself. Nah, because what if, like, the world was supposed to end and you fucked that meth out homeless chick and then it's like. Oh, the world's not ending. <laughs> yeah, that's... shit! I got fucking seventeen STDs for a two-minute <laughs> fuck session on the street. AIDS for sure. <laughs> I right, mean, for sure, right? right? Right there on Cass and Garnett. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Should we start the show? <laughs> yeah, I forgot we we're even doing a show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Tasteless Gentleman. Dom, what up, though? What up? Alex? Yeah, we fucking homeless chicks out here. That's what we do. That's how we roll. <laughs> Scoop? What up, though? Ziggy? What up? Good to see you again. How's your fucking alligator? Good? <laughs> did, you kill, did, did you kill it? <laughs> did you kill it? So, as always, <gasps> this show is brought to you by William Painter Sunglasses. Uh, some of the best sunglasses on the planet. <gasps> you guys can find them at WilliamPainter.com. <gasps> if you use the uh, promo code FUCKSCOOP, you get $25 off uh, your purchase. That, and that works in Australia now. That <gasps> reminds me. I need a new fucking pair. Hey, Patrick, I need a new <laughs> pair. <laughs> oh, Patrick's coming on soon. Uh, Good. Yeah, he wants to he talk He can bring shit. sunglasses for all of us. Yes, yeah, yeah. I Good. guess he's been uh, traveling the country blowing fucking backs out. He's telling me some stories. I'm like. Dude, Jesus Christ. Really? <laughs> yeah, he was like, I want to talk about it. I'm like, all right, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it, fam. And uh Hopefully no condoms. Yeah, I hope not. And also, um, oh yeah, our t shirts, uh tastygentleman.com. Uh we put new designs up all the time. Go check them out. Uh I don't can't remember. Oh, the the reading Rambo one is up there. That reading one's Rambo. Good. People are loving that one. Um it's a uh, Jordy what's his name? Jordy LaForge? Uh yeah yeah just yeah. Uh, reading rainbow guy <laughs> yeah the reading rainbow guy Jordy LaForge he's firing a fucking in a Star Trek yeah an M sixty three from yeah he's got he's the awesome glasses shit. anyway yeah so what are we here for boys 
As in, Snorting why are we on this planet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we going back to darkness? Are, are we talking about philosophical bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were trying to get out of the darkness. That's yeah. why I tried to bring up Charlize. Yeah, Charlize's. let's talk about snorting condoms. <laughs> when was the last time you snorted a fucking condom? About an hour before I came over here. Awesome. <laughs> and how was it? Was it good? It was a little dry. I should have gone with the lubricated. What the fuck <laughs> possesses someone? Like, we, were all, we do dumb shit now as adults. We all did dumb shit as kids. What the fuck, dude? Yeah. Like, you're not even getting any, like, at least drugs, can, you get something out can, of can it. Can you think of the dumbest thing that you did as a kid in... That's a good question. I, I would think the dumbest thing that I did as a kid was make Molotov cocktails and, and light them and throw them off in the sports park. I mean, that's not even dumb. That's just good old-fashioned 90s yeah, fun. I almost burned the whole park down. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them. Not my problem. I think the dumbest thing I did was when I made my own homemade cigarettes out of fucking... <laughs> Index oh, cards and yes. pencil shavings. <laughs> Scr- like you were going to smoke the shavings? I smoked it. Yeah. Oh my. That Z-Lord. explains so much. Scratch that. My friend bought weed when we were in like seventh grade off some dudes and we rolled it up in, uh, compu- in printer paper and like scotch tape and tried to smoke it. I mean, I've done that. Bus <laughs> transfer. That's easy. That's easy. Can we talk more about these fucking homemade, they're not even cigarettes, they're just pencil shavings? Yeah, it was a... Uh, <laughs> that just, dude. I did you like, smoke it? I'm tasting, I tried, yeah. I'm tasting that in my horrible. mouth, and I it's fucking. Yeah. I was creative. Good. I was an artist, so I mean, freaking. Uh, <laughs> I got the index card right. You were an artist. Rolled it up. Well, before I rolled it up, I had an orange highlighter. Yeah, so yeah. I colored it. You know, what I mean, the tip orange, so it looked yeah. like, it looked actually, like a filter. Wait, wait, hold on. Are you seven or thirteen at this? I'm a good twenty-one. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you were a just wee checking, little lad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I was like, well, did, some, did somebody eight. smoke in your life? Like, did like a yeah, my dad was he uh, smoked cigarettes. Okay, so you were like trying to emulate. Yeah, him. yeah, for okay, sure. Okay, okay. So you highlighter. Yeah, yeah, highlight freaking uh. Made the fucking uh, the tip, you know what I mean? Yeah, Orange, yeah, like a filter. Classy. Fucking uh, just rolled it up. I was like, what? What made you decide on fucking pencil shaving? So? I need something to look like tobacco. Yeah, it kind of does. Kinda. Yeah, it kind of yeah, does. Sure. So did you do? Did you do it with like the electric sharpener, or did you have the small little one that you bring in your backpack? I think it was the one I had in my backpack. You know, I got no money for there the electric. There was something sharpener. so satisfying about going from a hand crank pencil sharpener to the electric one as a kid. So yeah, good. but it would always break. Yeah, the electric one. So and there's awesome. nothing worse than that that hand crank one in the corner of the class yeah. that would just eat your entire pencil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you would have to go up there and everybody's looking at you like, dude, hurry the fuck up. And it was the same one from fucking 1963. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It was. Same one yeah, on the yeah, wall. When, when they actually had to worry about nuclear bombs going off. Right. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I remember... <laughs> just the hold hold on. Before you continue, uh, but I, I, need to fi- I need the end of this. So you are... you Now you've rolled it up. Rolled it up. You how did you seal it? You lick it? You were fucking like a joint, joint? Sc- scotch tape. It might have been with tape like or glue. Elmer's glue. Yeah, it had <laughs> been with glue. Crossfade. Like were you make, were you making it the Cross actual fade. the same size as a as an actual cigarette? Nah, I mean it probably wasn't. I was just trying to make it look Rub- like a cigarette as much as possible. Rubber cement. But of course I didn't have access glue to a lighter. Stick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't have a lighter or spray, matches. Spray some pesticides on it. Okay, so, so well, how, what did you light it with? The stove, baby. <laughs> Good old stove. Those, yeah. Dude, I'm surprised you didn't burn the house down. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. And then you try to smoke it. You probably didn't even hail. You have no yeah. idea what's going yeah. on. I'm just... <laughs> And then you choke yeah. or something. Yeah, I was like, all right, this ain't for me. I threw it in the trash can. <laughs> that bitch caught on fire. <laughs> oh, shit. Really? The trash can? Did? Yeah. After like the third time I did, did it. Did you get like, caught? Hell yeah. No, nah, well, they didn't know what I was doing, but they was like, they knew I was fucking with fire. They, they had to have smelled the smoke, yeah. right? Well, now they know. Yeah. yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Don't judge. Damn. I had that's a rough crazy. childhood. That's crazy. I started smoking when I was seven. I, mean, I, mean, yeah, I wasn't seven, but we got like beady. I heard that's what they're called, beadies. Beadies. Yeah. Yeah. I got those in college. Yeah. I love those things. I mean, when you're fucking 12, they're yeah. horrible. <laughs> I mean, even now they're horrible. Well, I know, but I'm just saying it's even worse when you're yeah, growing. It was fun like, to walk around with those because it's so much like it's so similar yeah. to a joint. Yeah, it, looks, it feels like a joint. Yeah. It made me feel like a Rasta. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Rasta. <laughs> I remember uh, back when... Uh, uh, all the rappers were talking about backwoods, and we tried smoking those. They I, still are. Yeah, they still are. Too, Wait, yeah. I've heard the term. What are they? The c- little cigars, like those fucking. It's like a leaf cigar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's harsh though. They're fucking super harsh. That shit is harsh. Not only fuck. that, like it's super hard to roll a blunt with them too. And people yeah. were talking about rolling oh, blunts with what backwoods. Were the, like, what um, the fuck? Fuck. What were those cigarettes that I smoked? They're really harsh. The, uh, I think it was just unfiltered. Cloves. 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 No, I smoked uh-huh. cloves, but unfiltered luckies. 
unfiltered Luckies. Yeah. <laughs> like the GIs used to smoke yeah. back in the day. <laughs> Dude, I smoked, I smoked Lucky Strikes for, for years until they stopped hey, making Hey, you got any more of those Lucky Strikes? <laughs> <laughs> I smoked Lucky Strikes for Vietnam cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I smoked those for years. Were those guys that used to crawl through the fucking tunnels with a flashlight and a oh, handgun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Viet Cong? No, well, yeah, that, but the, they had a name, like Tunnel Rats. That's yeah. what they call those dudes. Did you, yeah. did you roll it up in your sleeve and everything? No, I never did that. I wasn't a greaser, dude. <laughs> he, got bo- he had a helmet on with born to die across exactly. it. <laughs> Calm down, pony boy. <laughs> no, those the, the unfiltered lucky strikes. Ooh, hard. That's brutal. Yeah, I mean, even just smoking like a, a marble, like a straight up marble, a red. Yeah, yeah. A red. Like if you smoke a like a, every once in a while, like if I'm out, I smoke American spirits. That they're not that bad, no. and you don't even feel bad later. Yeah, those fucking. I smoked a marble once. I mean, kill me. Yeah. It's just straight. It's like, it was so bad. We were talking about this the other day when they used to have the, the cigarette chicks that would hit, you would sign another e- your email address and you get the pack of free cigarettes or yep. the two packs of cigarettes. They'd have those fucking menthols. Holy shit, dude! I would get a free pack of those. I'd smoke it all in one night, and I would yeah. just be like, I would the next day. You're just horrible, hacking up your fucking lung. Yeah, you're smoking fiberglass and fucking yeah, right? meth. <laughs> what were the what the the there? I think they were called blacks. Where they were like cloves, but black they were blacks. No, they were like black cigarettes. Yeah, those are close. Yeah, they were. Yeah. I remember being in Vegas and I was chain smoking those at like 5 a.m. after yeah. a full night of drinking. I'm like, what am I doing? What, what Vegas you? will get you because everybody's smoking around you yeah. and you can smoke and everywhere. Well, it's yeah. also, it's like a mental thing. Like, well, I'm inhaling enough. I might as well smoke anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm in Vegas. Yeah. So I might as well get the cream Anything cheese. Goes. <laughs> Wait, so... What is it about? There's something so satisfying about being drunk and smoking, though. I don't know what it is. I, I think know. it's anything. Because I, when I used to fucking eat pills like they were candy, yeah. there was nothing better than like being all like melting into my couch. And then I'm like, oh, my God. Well, like, it's, it's just when you're, when you're when you're drunk, know? you're in that degenerate mind state. So it's like if one is good, ten is better. And See, so you just want to do every, are you. It's the same reason why you fu- why you bang a fat chick, even though you probably wouldn't sober. See for me it was different. When I would get when I would get really drunk, there's a point that I would say, "Okay, I'm not going to have a cigarette now because I knew that if I smoked, I probably want to vomit." So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but yeah, I also yeah. You're I, talking like the spins. Yeah, but I also never started I never associated cigarettes with drinking like a lot of people do. I just obviously I've always associated cigarettes with fucking stress and life. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Like I never there's, I would never have a cocktail and the, all of a sudden say, "Oh fuck, I need a cigarette." There's there's the combination of substances. So like if you have a cigarette with your coffee, Yep. Then the drinking of the coffee triggers the need for a cigarette. At that point, it's just a like your brain is so used to the routine. Yeah, it's like a Pavlonian yeah, response. Exactly. That yeah. might be the second best thing on the planet: a coffee and a cigarette. And then, <laughs> and then, and then, and then shit immediately. Yeah, and immediately. then the shit you take after that. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I'm gonna start smoking again. Speaking of <laughs> shitting, you got the bidet, right? Yeah, I haven't used it yet, so I don't have anything to talk about. You haven't installed it? No. What the uh-uh. f- oh, I would have done, done that shit that day. Right I had other like responsibilities, adult responsibilities to do. <laughs> that would have that been the first include... adult responsibilities no. to install the bidet. No, I have not installed it. Are you going to teach Zig how to how to use the bidet? Man, if I do, that's <laughs> fucking. We're we're going places, Zig. If, if you, you learn could... how to use the bidet. <laughs> If you could even teach him how to shit in the toilet, like two little uh, like foot things come out and he stands yeah. over the toilet. And boop. <laughs> or just to talk. You can do it Say with Say one word. Yeah, yeah. One word. All right, is, it, is it true? Yeah, yeah, you really can teach cats how to shit in a fucking... Yeah, you put, a, you put a litter box in there and then ultimately you take it away. They'll probably still end up shitting on the floor right next to it. Fucking cats are assholes. I don't, I'm not ever going to have cats. I say that now. Fucking fast yeah. forward 10 years. I'm You'll married to some chick who's got 37 cats. Yeah. You're, you're going to have 10 cats and four dogs. I'm fucking dogs. getting allergy shots in my dick. <laughs> I grew up. I fucking want to die. I grew up with this kid who had like, who lived in a fucking, I swear to God, it was like a zoo. You'd walk in. He had like four dogs, a bunch of cats, parrots, like fucking hamsters, Rabbits, like it would, it was just so many, f- and you could smell it. Like the house smell like shit. So fucking gross, disgusting. And he would always, he'd always invite us over because his mom would let us drink. And not so disgusting now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can deal with this. This is tolerable. Like that's that's exactly it. Like he would order, we'd order like the you know whatever boxing matches on pay per view, and we'd go over there and drink. And so like you had to fucking be there. This doesn't sound half bad yeah. now. All I'm of a sudden, fucking you, all in. You like animals. Yeah, <laughs> love animals. But like his, love si- his sister was pretty attractive too. But it was, yep. this keeps Even getting better. fucking better. But still, better. in my in my like in your mind, you're just like, oh my god, she probably smells like fucking dog food. 
Or maybe she just wants to get out of there, you know? You don't know. I wouldn't be thinking that. I'd be like, your sister's hot. You know, have you never walked into a girl's place for the first time and there's just a bunch of animals and you just get that like that smell and you're just like, you know that she smells like that? I've walked into a girl's place before though and knew immediately that I was not going to fuck her just based upon her place. (laughs) Yeah. What was it? Just fucking dirty, dude. That's gross. The bathroom or was it? Like if your place is looks like shit to me, I don't think you take care of down here is it is it like are we talking messy or are we talking like i've been in all kinds all walks of life messy cluttered whatever like bathrooms are the worst dude yeah (laughs) women's yeah a deal breaker for me man i uh was fucking fucked up and i went home with this one chick and I went in her bathroom, and she just had, like, a pile of just cigarette butts. Oh, oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Wait, on, where was it? Like, right by the toilet. She'd just be shit. Like, on the floor? Yeah. And I was like, what am I doing? What? That's gross. What? <laughs> what What trap house were you in? Oh, That's like some trap. <laughs> <laughs> That's like meth head type shit, dude. Oh. I was like, what am I doing? I just had, like, a mental breakdown right there in the bathroom. Was, I gotta get out. Was there, like, this the, the tar on the walls from her smoking nah, cigarettes I just saw shit? That. I was That's like, you just smoking shit and just chill. Oh, that's so like, disgusting. What gotta, the fuck? I gotta I've, go. I've never, I've never had the desire to spark up a cigarette in my own place yeah. or anybody other, uh, anybody else's place. I have. Yeah, I've done it. <laughs> I was gonna do it really? to be disrespectful. Just I anyway. like, I don't even like thinking. My I don't, place. <laughs> I don't even like knowing that girls poop. To go to some chick's house and then picture her sitting there just like while she's shitting. She's constipated. There's she's nothing out. more disgusting to me. I'm yeah. out. I'm yeah. all out I, at that I, point. I, I, I'm that was, gone. It just good. seems so odd, the commitment to the bathroom. But how about leaving your cigarette butts on the floor? So like gross. If you're going to smoke and shit, pick them up. And it, 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 for sure, <laughs> if you're going to smoke in the house, uh, like throw those cigarette butts. That's what smells. Yeah, is the cigarette butts? They do. Cigarette they butts terrible. like will smell like ten years after you fucking <laughs> yeah. throw them out. Um, yeah, you can pick one up to your outside fucking hands, for sure. Dude. Yeah. And it would still smell. so ridiculous. We'd spend fucking hours washing our hands after we were out drinking and smoking in yeah. high school just to fucking. I know it. my parents had to fucking. Oh, of course know. they did. Yeah, they God did. bless them. They never said anything though, but. <laughs> They um, knew. Wait, was wh- that the only issue in this house? Because I feel like that can't be the only. If you no, there's cigarette yeah. butts, that's if the there's tip a of the tray, iceberg, yeah. I'm imagining like some disgusting shit in the fridge too. Nah, I ain't get to the fridge, but yeah, the house was just a little dirty. There's freaking a grown ass man that was her son, and we were like the same age. <laughs> well, so wait, wait, there's because this is a big distinction to me: uh, dirty and messy. Yeah. I don't mind yeah. messy. Like I, I'm, I'm fairly messy, but like I'm, I, there's not plates under my bed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's like a big difference between like dirty and messy. You're not like hoarding like depression mode where you like don't yeah. leave your room and you like piss in a bottle. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> none of that. No, no, no. It was sure. dirty. It was dirty. That's dirty. Yeah. There's cigarette butts on the floor. That's dirty. <laughs> That's dirty. What did that bathroom smell like? I mean, it had to just reek of cigarettes. Yeah, it was just. <sighs> I was. Uh, it was terrible. <laughs> my my brother asked me to uh, a couple of years ago asked asked me to help him move. Uh, or move a mattress that he had sold on Craigslist. So this girl had bought it in OB, but she didn't have a way to get it. So he had to put it in his truck and we drove it to OB to drop Fuck it off. that bitch. She paid extra. Yeah. Okay, Figure it out. Um, what she look and like? I got dinner for it. So. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, all right. yeah. We're good. It's getting juicy. Um, yeah. And it, juicy. Yeah. And her sister was hot, so. All right. Yeah. <laughs> we won again. Um, <laughs> and she let you drink. <laughs> yeah. <the> <laughs> so, uh, so we show up to this place and we help move uh, move it in. And you know how? So this is an OB Ocean Beach, which in San Diego it's like, it's like the hippie beach community. It is, yeah. And there's like some weird shit that goes on there, but for the most part, it's just your normal sort of scrubby hippie beach community. Yeah. Some college kids, yeah. Like up the hill is like a super rich area. Yep. But yeah, overall. you might find a needle in the fucking sand. You could. You know? you could. It's, um, a little, it's a little nicer. It's a little di- yeah. yeah, it's it's definitely gotten nicer over the last few years for too. Sure. Uh, but, it's eclectic. Yeah. That's why we like to live here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we walk. So we walk in, and it's just like the the shittiest OB home I have ever fucking seen. The walls were painted white, but they were like tarred black from cigarette smoke. So good. <laughs> and the wood floor was just like completely shot, like a fucking cat was just like running around in it for years. Yeah. And the furniture was all fucking gross. And her, the mattress that she did have was like a one of those like foam ones. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. foam yeah. topper. Yeah, 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 like yeah. She, it was just on the ground. Forty nine, oh. forty eight at fucking <laughs> IKEA. Yeah. Get your life together, <laughs> you fucking nasty bitch. <laughs> I remember That's walking so in, wrong. and I was just like, 
man, like this mattress isn't going to do anything for you. Like you got to get into a better Wait, living this is situation. A, this is a party you were at? No, we were, we, she bought a, my brother's mattress. Oh, okay. And so we were just delivering it. And I was just like, how do you, how do you live? I've lived in grimy places before. <laughs> you like pull her aside. Do you need help? Yeah. <laughs> like seriously, I wanted to like be sugar daddy or something. Like I felt bad. For, like it was disgusting. Hey, if she's hot enough. Eh. And she's letting you drink. Yeah, <laughs> and the sister. She's and, hot, and, and, her, she and, her, and her son was cool. He was my age. <laughs> <laughs> so we hung out for a yeah. while after that. <laughs> Dated for a few years. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing worse than that kind of dirty. Because you, you can't do anything about no, that. No, you can't do. You can't that. just like you can't. You know, it's not one of those. Oh, my friends are coming to go. Got to give it the quick pickup. Like, yeah, yeah. That's a okay. That's the standard right there. To me, that's the standard. How fast? Oh, my friends are coming over, yeah. and let me clean up real quick. And you can't. You need to call in like this, a squad to come clean it. Yeah. That's the difference. If, if you need to get a sandblaster and you're inside the house, <laughs> you need the walls repainted. I feel like that dirty, like that chick. Those are the younger people who go to, on to be hoarders when they get older. But yeah. I, I don't even think it was her. It was whoever. I think it was whoever she was living with. Oh, okay. I mean, it could have been her too. Her Fifty-six but year old. I didn't know. Single male yeah. roommate. But it was like, dude, like what landlord hadn't like gone in there and given it the. You know, the hey, we need to come in and clean the floors. Giving it the old once over. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a motherfucker that's retired in Florida yeah. don't give a right. fuck. Hasn't yeah. seen yeah. the place in 12 years. <laughs> yeah. you, you mentioned 56 year old roommate. So I was at this guy's. It's my girlfriend's friend, her boyfriend. And, uh, Wait, girlfriend's friend. My, my boyfriend. girlfriend's friend's boyfriend. boyfriend. Okay. Yes, correct. So he's, he's about 30 or li- maybe a little bit older. His roommate is 71 years old, <laughs> really? legitimately, and he's crotchety and angry and not nice. <laughs> and then, <laughs> oh my God, I'm so, and I go over there and I, they were like, oh, he's like, oh, my roommate's home. Like, What's All his right, name? Whatever. I can't remember Bill? the roommate's name. I, I know the guy, I don't want to say the guy's name, but, but yeah, I, I don't remember that dude's name. And, uh, but he was just like, he, fucking asshole. Fair enough. He's seventy with a thirty year old roommate. Been through like two world wars. Yeah, he's like, live. fuck. I gotta. It was in Vietnam. I gotta fucking live with this stupid guy. How about yeah? How about the fact that you're seventy? You gotta have a roommate. That sucks. Yeah. That sucks. Neither here nor there. But yeah, welcome to the future for everybody. By the way, <laughs> right? And <laughs> uh, so anyway, the couple though they're like they're arguing the whole fucking time. They're in the middle of this. Like the whole time we're there, they're arguing. So and her I'm, friend and the dude they're yeah, arguing. It, this was in OB, by the way. So, so I'm sitting in the front yard. This you is know, so awkward. Just trying to black out in the front yard. I'm just sitting there while the, the couples are arguing. I keep looking at my girlfriend. I'm laughing because I actually think it's funny. Yeah. You know, watching people argue. Of course. The crotchy old man is walking around, you know, all angry. Does he have a cane? No, he doesn't have a cane, but he is crotchety, though. Uh, look, look, legit, you know, like old surfer, crotchety, you know, just. This oh, he's one of those. Yeah, he's, uh, he's uh, leather skin. Leather skin, yeah, yeah, and he's got a, you know, he's always frowning and shit. You know, he <laughs> wants to fight. Like, I'm gonna knock your old ass out. When I'm 70, if if I'm still, I mean, I don't do this now, but if I'm walking around acting like I want to fight, somebody knock me the fuck out. You're, Just like you're, you're gonna you're be like that, you're gonna be like that dude from Oakland that knocked that kid out in the bus. I mean, that could happen. <laughs> that could happen. So uh, then uh, the guy he comes to sit down and talk to me for a little while and. uh the he's, old guy? The old guy. And he starts kind of saying why he's mad. Well, the why, why he's mad right now. Apparently, he's always mad. But so uh, I guess the girlfriend and the dude got into the blowout argument uh, the do night what, before. Do you know what they were arguing about? They argue about everything. They argue about everything. He doesn't give a fuck about her. So this I'm, is all the time. Now, this is none what, of my fucking like what business. she does with the social security check? Like, what the <laughs> fuck are you arguing no, no, about? No, 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 no. The boyfriend the and the, the couple was arguing. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so they argue all the time. He's fucking crazy. He doesn't listen. I, I've tried to talk to him. I'm like, dude, he's got ADHD. ADHD. Well, like giving him relationship advice? No, no. I'm just like having normal conversation. Oh, okay. He's looking all over the place and fucking, I yeah, guess he that's drinks not like. not annoying or anything? Yeah. He drinks like a 30 rack a day and doesn't eat and he's just like, you know, looking all over. Anyway, so I guess they got in an argument and he kicked her out. So she walked outside uh, and took bricks that he had. <laughs> Cocaine? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It had the Gucci Mane bricks. Uh, no, she she took bricks and chucked them through the fucking living room windows. Oh, shit. And he's like, I don't, oh, I get why you're fucking mad. So then I start making fun of her. Like, I couldn't drop it. You know, I'm all drunk now. <laughs> and I just could not drop it. No, should like, you? I was, I was like, she oh, started, you gonna throw bricks at me throw, now? Yeah, I start throwing bricks at you. Yeah, just kept talking shit. And then, you know, I tell they're getting mad. I'm like, all right, it's time to go. <laughs> I blew this spot up. <laughs> By the way, that's like, an, that's like another Tuesday in OB. Right? Yeah, yeah. The whole thing was so fucking weird. I got out of there. I was fucking hammered. And, I, you know, of course, my girlfriend's mad. Like, why do you have to do that? Because it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how could you be in that situation and not do that? If I'm 70 and I got a roommate who's not 70, <laughs> fucking come kill me. 
<laughs> I'll live with the homie when I'm 70. I'm not living with a 30 year old couple. It's yeah, not happening. Yeah, it's not I'm, happening. I'm l- looking at places to live on Craigslist, and they have like the 55 and over places. Doesn't sound bad. Cheap yeah. as fuck. Cheap as fuck. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to figure out how to get a fake ID. Right? <laughs> Cheap as fuck. I'm buying a fucking mobile home, in some beach city. For go, sure. Go live in Mexico. Yeah. Dude, those things are like half price. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, pr- they pr- it's probably nice and quiet. Everyone's falling asleep at seven thirty in yep. these little communities. They all take siestas at three o'clock in the yeah, afternoon. And not, they not, all not our generation though. They'll be blasting trap music. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that there is a dirty little secret that all those old folks. I mean, oh, they fuck. They yeah. fuck. Yeah, my yeah. grandma told me. <laughs> Wait, what? what? <laughs> Pause. Yeah, I wasn't trying to hear that. <laughs> what did she say? She was just like, I, I know she was. Um, she was dating some dude that was in the retirement home. Also, she's like, yeah, you know, we have sex. I was like, yeah. Oh, come my, on. My, oh, my grandpa went, <laughs> My grandpa he was uh he was in a uh, home for people with Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and shit. And yeah, he had a girlfriend for a little bit. Yeah. Very briefly. What did your grandmother elaborate on this? Like Hell was she talking No, 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 no not her it. sex life, but like other people in the home? Like was she saying, I, yeah, yeah they were saying I, she likes to get I'm it from pretty the back. sure yeah, I'm pretty sure they weren't the only couple out there fucking. I mean, yeah, if you're that old, you're not. What are you not worried about? Fucking knocking someone up? Just true. fuck everything. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like so much. You've been work. sterile for thirty five years. I know. That's right? true. I mean, I, big... I'm kind of looking forward to the point where I don't want to fuck. Not I, me. I'm there. I've been there for five years. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, that's called being in a relationship. <laughs> yeah, yeah fuck it over it. That's true. <laughs> Get single again, and all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, I need pussy. It's not, It's back. ridiculous. We've talked about it. it's like when I'm in a relationship, and you know your fucking chick leaves town. As soon as she's out the door, you're like, hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, for oh. sure. Yeah, like, yeah. like literally, as soon as the door closes. <laughs> oh yeah, beating off to pictures I, of her friend's uh, Facebook page. You get way <laughs> more flirty when she's out of town. Uh, what up, little bitch? <laughs> I, I had a friend yeah. of mine. <laughs> recently tell me that he's like yeah my chick's really hot so every now and then i'll jerk off to you know photos of her and yeah. i'm like you got something wrong with you if you what? do that what in the fucking world you already see your dumb ass she's yeah. boring yeah. You, yeah you've been inside every one of her holes what the fuck do you need to get off to her know. for i don't know if he's been i haven't of jerked these. off to anyone i've been inside of since i was 13 no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's probably aggressive yeah. <laughs> maybe you made like 22 all right yeah, after, i'll pull that back a little bit after you get to okay let me modify that just a smidge <laughs> you've conquered that mountain you don't yeah. need to, you don't need to fucking climb it again you don't need yeah. to imagine what it's like to be on the peak you've Not been again. there yes. Yeah. yes there's really no point on to the next mountain there's just no point in relationships <laughs> You don't climb Mount Kil- Kilimanjaro twice. Somebody, yeah. somebody sounds jaded over here. <laughs> <laughs> Who me? Yeah. No, there's no point in relationships. Never. <laughs> relationships just happen the older you get because you're like, ah, oh, this person's kind of cool. <laughs> Might as well hang out with them for a while. For me, I think a relationship now at this age, it, it would happen because I'm like, I don't want to deal with the fucking dumpster fire that is the dating world. Hmm. Yeah. Is it really a dumpster not to, fire, uh, Not to mention, I don't want to wear fucking condoms. <laughs> now we're going to go, oh, we don't wear fucking... I wear condoms. <laughs> yeah, you Pussy. I'm you're not, sp- I'm not you're supposed to snort them. I have, friends, gay. I have friends who have fucking herpes. I don't want fucking yeah, no, herpes. Yeah, for sure. So anyway, I don't even want to go through that. Yeah, like, I, right. at this point, honestly, I would probably just go limp even thinking about, like, reaching into a drawer, pulling out a fucking condom rolling it onto my dick and then inserting it into a fucking woman somewhere no i don't want to do that and you got to do it for like months too in the beginning yeah yeah you gotta get through like that when whole you're trust fucking thing. raw dog all the time just every which way and, and then, then like, and then you have that that sad dick look when it's like after you nut and it's just sitting there in the condom and just like resting on your leg <laughs> yeah just like why the fuck did you do this There's to me nothing even remotely appealing about condoms nothing wait there, there has to be a bit like how long have condoms been the only fucking option Option. Like at some point, like we've got AI coming through. Like somebody's got to invent something better than the condom. Or what? What? Here's what I'm thinking. What? I mean, I don't want to get chipped per se. But what if you there was some way you could test your blood? You know, blood test, mm-hmm. and then it verifies in an app. Boom! So then every time you're about to hook up, she's like, "Are you clean?" You're like, "I don't think I got the results that from today." Either already exists, or I don't think we're far off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then you're just like, "I got the results today." You just I, have a QR code like yeah. somewhere or, on you, or, or it's like, an, or it's like an Uber app, and some dude pulls up. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad either. <laughs> that's like it sounds like a Black Mirror episode. It does, right? <laughs> Honestly, that may be the most brilliant idea. I, I would 
Fuck. Oh, man. Shark Tank, Mark Cuban. I mean, that's legit. I'm, I'm going to blank out every section of this, and I'm suing anybody <laughs> in this fucking room. Everybody. <laughs> Copyrighted. <laughs> I fucking said it first. Mark Cuban's getting sued. Fucking anyone, OJ's getting anyone. sued. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, that's not bad, right? And then no, you, show, you just show that's it to them. Like, the, and it's verified by, I don't know. Until somebody fucking figures out how to hack it. Yeah. <laughs> could you, could you Which ima- will happen. Could you imagine if there was an app where like you would, like, you would track uh, like basically through like Facebook the people you fucked and it, and it, and it weaved like an a Eskimo brother type. Uh, like, so you would know like, like who's connected yeah. through what fucking history. Yeah, call it the Eskimo Brothers app. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Boom. It. Start suing. Start suing people. I how, haven't even invented it and I'm already suing someone. If, if you want people to start wearing condoms, that's how you get them to start wearing condoms. I mean, that, that would be legit though because then, you you, then you'd almost like... Uh, yeah, you're like, oh shit. It'd yeah. be like notches on your belt though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like oh, this chick, she fucked OJ. <laughs> <laughs> and live yeah. to tell the story at and that live. point there's also the the factor of it being a point of pride yeah like oh shit brad pick fuck that chick some of them i wouldn't want to know but then also though. like the hey. ugly dude down the street fucked her too so <laughs> yeah you find out that's how you find out your best friend fucked her when you guys were together for sure Whoops. oh yeah i didn't know for that sure. I mean, yeah, hopefully it doesn't say the time on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 11.53? 11.56? Wait, you said you were at the gym. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you think you've ever fucked a chick uh, uh, right if she didn't shower and then, you know, or like, uh, sorry, she didn't shower and she fucked somebody else and then you fucked her? Probably. I don't think girls get down like that. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Some do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Some do. I'm, I'm not saying I, it's a majority. I, I, yeah. I, I, I it's know. a very small percentage, but they do for sure. Really? But yes. you could probably also easily forget, like if you were on a bender, you could easily forget that you fucked somebody the night before. I've dirty dick before. Yeah, I know dudes are different. Yeah, dudes are, <laughs> dudes are grimy motherfuckers. But I don't think girls are really like... Girls are grimy-er. I don't think they're savage like that. Nah, the percentages are so skewed. It's so different. Like, guys who would do that, yeah. it's so much higher. It's so much higher. Yeah. But, well, dudes also go like three days without showering. And, you know. Does it, and does it count? <laughs> does dirty dicking count if you wear a condom? I mean, I mean, yeah. Let me it? just say, I mean, come on, it's all over here. Yeah. It's for, there's all the that juice crusty stuff. shit. Yeah, fucking the crust. hanging out. Yeah, yeah. schmegma all over the fucking place. <laughs> Fig <Fitness. laughs> You wiped your ass and it hit your balls fucking three dick, times. Dick cheese. I don't know why you're going back to front, but <laughs> hey, you never know. Sometimes you never know. Mistakes were made. Yeah. Mistakes. We were partying. Cocaine. Quaaludes. <laughs> shit happens when you party. Yeah, Fuck, literally. Why we need a mistakes were made shirt. Why yeah. the fuck? Don't we have that already? Yeah, I'm suing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll be for the the this show. Mistakes were made. Um, <laughs> I I think to answer your question, I think yeah, it's probably happened to to most of us without knowing. That'd be horrible. Well, Take, I mean, I think if you what's just, what's the most you've done in a weekend? What you done? Like, like well, the most women you've hooked up with in like a two day. I, I've day never period. I, I've never done more than like two in that time frame. I think the most women is three. Yeah, three. Yeah, I mean it's Summer hard to love. fucking f- do three chicks in a twenty-four in a forty-eight hour period. Yeah, like you gotta. Ha- it, I mean, if you have a yeah. roster, if you got the roster, and it's that's, that's the only solid. way to do it is by having a roster. The you'll, crazy, you'll thing- never give give me one of those people that just pulls from the bar every time. Yeah. No. Nah, it- One's already had on the team. Fuck you! Thanks for ruining my self esteem, you dick knuckle. <laughs> but the thing about it is, like after I was done, I didn't feel like a king. Like I felt. Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> really? You're just like yeah, looking like, at yourself in the mirror, like, what have you like, done? Dude, that was fucking disgusting. I, I, to be honest, I mean, it'd be cool to like just be able to fuck every chick ever all the time. This might sound weird, but I do, I don't think it's good for your mental health <laughs> <laughs> to, to never get shut down. Well, that, but also just to be out there fucking and like all day, every day, it's going to be fun. But I don't know. I think there's something about your mental health you, you that's do, just not good for you. You do wear it. yourself out, like mentally. Yeah, yeah. And then you start sucking dicks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with, with yeah. All those stories we talked about the last nine shows. Yeah. <laughs> you get the whole, uh, what's it called? The um, Richard Pryor deal going exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's just, fu- it's really time consuming to fuck and date multiple women at the same time. Yeah. Really? And you got to keep the lies up too if you're not being honest. Like, it's because it's really hard to be honest. That's about why it. you just have to be honest. Yeah, that's why you just say, we're not together. I'm 
fucking everyone. Okay. Even, even though eventually she'll still pull the, well, I thought you might change your mind. Of course. No, 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 no. Even that. Fuck both you guys. No, no, no. You can be honest so that, you, that you're not dating them and that, and that they're not the only one, but you can't be completely honest. You still have to lie no, about it. You can't be like, oh, I was fucking some chick last no, night. I'm that's what saying, I'm saying. I'm so not that's saying you can't. So you have to keep up that lie of, you know, what were we doing last night? Ah, I was chilling. But, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, but then, but you know. she was getting dick. The night before too. No, no she see, wasn't. You, you have a different <laughs> opinion of women than I feel like reality actually is. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I'm not. I'm just saying hypothetically, she could have been doing whatever she wanted. I know, but she probably wasn't. That's the thing the about girls. The only time I think that some chicks out getting like dick all willy nilly is right after we break up. <laughs> yeah, that's the only <laughs> that's time she is. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, but even sometimes then, I don't think that's even happening. I yeah. That's the thing that's funny. Like, no, I don't that's the paranoia. Yeah. The, that's it's the that, paranoia. Of course, yeah. it is. I yeah. catch myself now with that chick. I yeah. mean going crazy yeah it's like me picturing my ex getting fucking turned out by two dudes the likes of you guys i'm like (laughs) just gorilla fucked on the couch exactly really it's a guy like me in the friend zone cuddling her (laughs) (laughs) or trying to fuck her her. he's just poking her in the back she's like i wish bradley was here (laughs) (laughs) what am i doing with my life (laughs) but that's how i mean for sure there's girls that are out there getting dick down every two seconds but i think that's a rare chick you know we're going to get some in the comments like, fuck you. I yeah. do this shit all the time. Yeah. I don't give I mean, a fuck. I, we've mind. talked about this before, but like, I mean, I don't, I don't consider a girl who's sort of open about what she does in that regard. If she hooks, if she fucks a lot, I don't consider that to be a slut. No, none no, of not us at all. No. Yeah, no, yeah. but I like, if we ain't slut shaming like, here, no, no, but there's a difference between like a chick who's a slut and somebody who's just like open about their sexuality, I guess is what I would say. Yeah, like, the, I, the slut is the one who like gets drunk and really doesn't have that part to her. But like, she goes out, does a bunch of drugs, and just ends up fucking dudes. But like, see that that girl though, that sh- that shit is so short lived. Because like you, you know yeah. that that happens until she's like twenty four or twenty five. Yeah. Then something really fucked up happens. She gets a DUI yeah. and kills fucking nineteen kids. Or she puts on twenty pounds. Or she realize. puts on twenty. Or she gets pregnant. Or she gets hooked on drugs. Or gets and then an the STD. game's over. Or gets an STD and then the game's fucking over. That's when they start getting on fucking Tinder and they're like, I need a nice man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm gonna find him on a dating app. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could. I'm on Tinder. What up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still on. Tinder. I, I, know, I have wife. I have friends <laughs> who have uh, met their significant other and still t- are together from. Tinder. Do people talk? a lot of shit about it but you could i mean it's not easy and you're running into a lot of fucking idiots but you could find a cool person on tinder you, you can find you, a cool person anywhere yeah that's, that's the other thing it's like you know you don't can, eliminate anything yeah you can just meet people and you can meet shitty people anywhere and you can meet cool people anywhere yeah you definitely have to get out of your house if you're trying to date <laughs> yeah. i got a couple yeah. friends that complain about being single or like man i never get pussy you're in. You're inside playing Fortnite, fucking twenty three <laughs> hours of the day. You cannot complain about not getting pussy. Do they really bitch and moan about? Yes, it? and it's like, dude, you're not gonna run across, you know, some girl over the voice chat on Xbox. Although I did fuck off of Xbox like ten years ago. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This How? girl. Uh, this girl. It was six one nine, like sugar mama or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh. And uh, so I was with my roommate, and uh, I was playing like Halo. This is more than ten. It's probably. Halo, like that was the best years shit ever. Ago, maybe best one. Shit ever. And uh, I was with my roommate. I'm all drunk, and she's talking, and I'm like, mm, she "Did she sound hot? She sounded pretty cute. Yeah, she sounded pretty cute." And uh, what was the reality? Uh, she was pretty attractive, but not not like crazy. I mean, she had a nice body. She we was, need the backstory uh, here, though. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so we're talking, and it was oh, so then you know, like you know, friend a person on fucking Xbox, yep. and the whole time we're talking shit, and I'm, the whole, I'm like, dude, this is gonna be some like 400 pound fucking. Whale. Whale. Just Oreos. <laughs> yeah, just rhino. Doritos and shit. Yeah, yeah. Orange fingers. For sure. I mean, she's going to like try to get the semen out of me to trap me. You know, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Here. So then uh, uh, after a couple of weeks of talking over Xbox and not even really talking, just really just playing the fucking game. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I was like, all right, well, we should meet up for some drinks. I'll bring my roommate, bring a friend because I don't want to get like killed in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah. Right? Wise. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we meet up. Uh, um, what's that? Um. What's it that is it Fashion Valley, Mission Valley? Where I the, always get the two confused. Yeah. Fashion Valley is a nice one, Mission Valley is a good yeah. one. Okay, yeah, Mission Valley. Yeah, yeah. Where where there's like the 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 uh uh ro- red rockets or Ruby, <laughs> red, yeah. red Rockets. Red, wait, red, ro- red Robin? <laughs> red it's, Robin. No, it's, it's Ruby's Diner. Or Ruby stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, that's Fashion Valley. Yeah. Or Mission yeah, Mission Mission Valley, Valley, yeah. right right by the you know the theater yeah AMC. and yeah we all meet up there then we walk around the corner and yeah she wasn't that bad actually i mean she's like a half black half white chick pretty cute you know decent figure we go over to uh what's that spot 
um, with this back. No, no, no. It's like right on the corner. Tilt the kilt. <laughs> tilt the kilt. Yeah. yeah. And then we got drunk. We all hung out. We went back to their house. Fucking me and my roommate both smashed the chicks. Hell yeah. It was fucking awesome. I thought you were going to say both you and your roommate fucked her. Yeah, no, no, no. Probably could We did that another time. But uh, yeah, it worked out fucking well. And she's pretty cute. And then never really hung out Really? You only fucked once? Blocked her on Xbox. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Bitch, I'm over it. I don't know. I just wasn't really feeling it. I was like, I got it. Was the sex good, though? I mean, you probably probably did that more for the novelty than anything, right? I mean, it was just. It wasn't. It wasn't like I was swimming in pussy when I was twenty one. Well, no, I'm just you saying. Just like, don't, you're not swimming in. I'm f- trying to fuck anyway. Yeah, but what I mean Xbox, is like, baby. D- like the fact that you were able to fuck off of a game, on playing online. I mean, it, like, yeah, that's I like, could see how having that in your repertoire of stories to retell, you know, ten years down the road. Yeah, no, of course, but that's not what I was thinking when I was no. twenty one. No, when you're twenty one, <laughs> it's like say. I'll take anything that comes my oh, way. Oh, you want to fuck? Oh, yeah. awesome! Yeah, now I would go, I would go cheat on my girlfriend off Xbox. It's hilarious. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's another story I could tell in five yeah. years. That'd be hilarious. Hey, babe, I hope you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bitch. <laughs> but it's just a joke. We only tell jokes on this show. Lols. Them's just jokes. Lols. <laughs> so oh. we never answered the question about the uh, craziest thing you ever did. Did everyone answer that? Did you craziest thing ever when you're a kid oh, you know kid? snorting condoms Fuck, all that. i cannot believe the tangents we fucking end up on yeah, it's amazing it was like 35 minutes uh, yeah i forgot nothing. that we even asked that fucking question i don't know i was gonna tell like i remember speaking of pencils and that's what triggered the memory for me i was in i don't know probably eight years old fourth grade third grade something like that and i was like taking a pencil and i was fucking with a crayon but i had it in my hand like this and the fucking thing slipped and the pencil went straight into my fucking <laughs> hand and the lead broke off <laughs> I'm like, that was smart. That happened to me, too. How'd you yeah. get the lead out? I never got it out, dude. Really? I'm going to probably die of lead poisoning yeah, in I 10 got, years. I mean, graphite. Yeah, I got least. mine out, like, after, like, two years. I finally fessed up, told my mom, like, hey. How they, I, were they the they, pliers? No. <laughs> <laughs> I had surgery. They Wait, what? They, they, you actually they had got, surgery? They got the p- pencil sharpener and just <laughs> <laughs> cranked it out. You actually had to have surgery to get it, that thing out? Yeah, because I, I was scared to tell my parents, man. My parents didn't fuck. They didn't play. Like, could you see it, though? Yeah, there was like a lump right here. There was a piece oh, of lead like, oh, okay. on the side of my freaking leg. I don't know what happened. I'm my like, body fuck. absorbed it because I'm fucking Superman. No, I was like, Damn I got it. stabbed in the neck with a pencil. Well, not, 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 not hard. I don't want to make it seem like it was a jailhouse. Like, <laughs> it's like sticking like it through was, the other side. Like it was a shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the, the some kid was walking behind me with the neck or with the pencil right on my neck. I don't I don't even know why, and I just stopped and it like went in my neck, and the same thing like broke off. I was yeah. like, the fuck? I saw, they were I, able to like like push it out though. I uh, saw this ooh. crazy kid uh, stab my friend in class with a pencil on the thigh. He was uh, this dude was fucking. I watched him choke a girl out on a bus too. Jeez, <laughs> fuck. He was, this guy needs to be Oakland, behind baby. bars, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, this this was before the whole school shooter thing was big, so yeah, we didn't we didn't have to worry about it. I think this guy's point. probably first team all prison right now. For but. sure, yeah, <laughs> guaranteed, guaranteed. He's doing fitty to life, <laughs> and like, dude, this this dude wouldn't say anything. He would just like walk super fast through campus and like staring at people. You That's know, he, he was just fucking. He, he was a terrifying person. And uh, and my friend was like, just kept saying his name in class, just kind of fucking with him, not like picking on him, not like, you know, being a bully or anything like that. Just kind of like trying to talk to him. And, yeah, you know, throwing fucking M and M's at him yeah. and saying faggot under your breath, <laughs> <laughs> fucking queer, <laughs> fucking queer. <laughs> but no, no, nothing that crazy. <laughs> Slapping him in the back of the head when he walks by, just driving him insane. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so he like turns around and uh, and he's my friend sitting right behind him, and he just takes the pencil and goes. And just fucking stabs him right in the fucking thigh. And it, did it? It went in. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. It was just sticking up there. Holy shit! Did he fucking freak out? Oh, he's like, what the fuck, dude? Like, <laughs> just, yeah, just like I feel like that would hurt. Remember probably. those fucking retarded? This is why they gave you those stupid scissors when you're a kid. Remember the oh, ones? Yeah. Safety ones? scissors. The yeah, ra- like, the rounded, rounded one. Yeah. Yeah. The tips yeah. are rounded. so you couldn't kill each other. That was the whole reason. So you guys didn't For get sure. more of the flies makes, out there. It all makes sense. These kids do stupid shit. We were snorting Smarties after Halloween. <laughs> oh, yeah. Doesn't that hurt? That's got. That sounds hurt. like yeah. it would burn a yeah. lot. I yeah. snorted a fucking Percocet once, and that was not a good idea. Uh, no. I've done. I didn't do a Percocet. I don't remember what it, it was like—a muscle relaxer or something. I was like, like oh, Soma? this would be a good idea. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Dude, I remember Somas when, were a big one back when in the I was day. a fucking. Uh, I when I had a roommate in college, we weren't. We got along, but we never hung out. Like I was way more straight laced back then, and he was just like the surfer from Huntington Beach who fucking did all kinds of drugs. Like came from a fucking. Wealthy family, whatever, spoon fed and shit. He's in Red Hot anyway, Chili Peppers now. I came, <laughs> I came in uh, to the room and he was fucking crushing up 
some shit on the table and there were already lines ra- like laid out. And I had never even fucking seen anything like that at that point in my life. <laughs> he looks at me, he's like, oh, dude, don't worry. They're just Mexican muscle relaxers. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> good. They're just Mexican muscle relaxers. That's legit, though. Dude. People used to always go to TJ to get somas. Back in the day, you yeah. could go down there and do whatever, and they weren't fucking with you on the way yeah. back. Yeah, nah. Yeah, you could go down and buy whatever the fuck you yeah. wanted to. Yeah. Like, I had but, some neighbors that would go down there and buy steroids all the time and yep. come back. Did you uh, Did you guys see, um, there was like a uh, some chick on Snapchat posted a video and some dude dropped a fucking roofie in her drink as she was doing the I video. Saw that. Yeah. Really? Holy shit. It looked kind of fake though. Yeah, it was like, probably, but I, I yeah, it was probably fake. It has to be. It was, it was yeah. funny though. What, what is this? So she's like, she's Snapchat is behind doing her. That, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drinking the drink. Oh, yeah, yeah. Her and comes like to the side and some yeah. dude just comes just, whoop, just real quick while she's fucking. Was she hot though? Yeah, I'd fuck. Nah, it's fake. <laughs> Unless she's hot, it's fake. It's fake. Why are you gonna roofie an unattractive chick? Not only that. Oh but- shit! Now you're the next one up. Oh. I'll take the rapist for five hundred. It was me. Then it was Alex. And now you're up. Allegedly, if I were going to roofie a chick, I would, I would, I would seek just- out the more attractive ones. Allegedly. Or you just roofie all her ugly friends, and then yeah. <laughs> By roofie. process of elimination, you're in. Or if yeah. you just roofie every chick in the bar, the equal opportunity roofie. Yeah. Roofie <laughs> Dom, what were you going to say? I can't remember. Really? <laughs> you just started saying it. I'm just having a good time, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's fake. I haven't even seen it. I think it's fake. Wait, what is roofie? Is that GHB? What it, it's roof and all. Roof and all. Yeah. yeah. What, was, what was GHB? What was um, That's a party drug, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, don't, I thought that was another date rape drug, wasn't it? But I, people party on it though, like they Jib. take it to. I want to say oh, yeah, it's actually like, like caps, a right? like a almost a pre workout type of. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. A no, no, no. I'm saying yeah, it's, it's like creatine. <laughs> <laughs> fucking morons! It's in the same fucking like category. Like there's some chemical. The chemical makeup of it has similar uh, properties to like pre workout, like those things that affect your brain in that way. Gotcha. Or ketamine, uh, special K. Ketamine, special fuck K. yeah. I ne- that's one drug I never did, but I saw people on ketamine. It's I'm so good off of anything, but uh, mushrooms, maybe some some other psych, oh, any psychedelic. What do you mean good off of? Like, like I'm not taking them. I'll oh. take any psychedelic for the most part. I will do uh, cocaine till my fucking eyes bleed. And I'll drink some beer. Or your nose. Yeah, yeah, or my nose. (laughs) But I'm not doing anything. Get that fucking special K away from me. Get your GHB and go fuck yourself. I'm not doing it. I want to try crack. I'm just afraid. (laughs) (laughs) I smoke crack one time. Really? I smoke crack one time. How was it? Free base? Because I'm scared to like. It is fucking crazy. (laughs) (laughs) That's how people get hooked. Like, it it tastes like shit. No, it wasn't a good crazy for me. Did they make a Sprite? I don't like uppers. Okay. Like I don't like I That's took like a, a I took upper. a my buddy gave me a half an Adderall once and I hated it like okay. I was I, we were out at a bar sucks. and I was I just like Adderall. fucking grinding my teeth like I my jaw hurt for a week <laughs> but Wait, uh, the, the 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 crack I I mean I've smelled it before like I've you know lived in the city so it like, tastes like shit and you just feel like you're way up but for me I was it was too okay, up. we need, we need to like, legalize crack I didn't like it <laughs> <laughs> that too. Uh, I've seen. I mean, I've I've been at parties where people were free basing cocaine, yeah, yeah. and that always creeps me out. It's like, just snort the fucking shit. I was, I was at a party. On, I was at a party over by state when I was like 18, 19 years old, and I'm sitting out front of the party smoking a cigarette. And this chick walks out, and I'm thinking she's just gonna do like the oh you're smoking, I'm smoking, we'll kind of hang out there. And she just pulls out a crack pipe and just beams it up. <laughs> <laughs> And I was just like, what? Yeah, I like this chick. <laughs> yeah. You go, her. you go, girl. Yeah. You do she had thing. a bunch of pets in her house. <laughs> you do you. You do you. I mean, was she like a San Diego State student? Yeah. Oh, my this God. Was, this wasn't some like sketchy like yeah, yeah, the yeah. outskirts. No, this was like right in the heart of, of, of the college uh, area. Casual yeah. crack smoke, you know. <laughs> you know what the street was? What was the Mary Lane? But everybody used to call it Mary Jane. It was like right yeah. there. It was right on the fucking one of the main streets by San Diego State. I wonder where she's at now. Probably still there. <laughs> Probably. I always think about that. It, it always scares me a little bit. When I think about like crazy people I've met in the past, and I just go, I wonder what that person is doing right this yeah, time. Yeah, I do. Dude, the they're same they're thing. in a gutter. Like I, I have a friend who, uh, who I grew up with. Uh, he moved down here to San Diego. He's a couple years older than me, my brother's age. And so we used to kick it with him. Like he never did shit, though. He came down, like dropped out of school almost immediately. 
um, was going from like job to job, just doing drugs, drinking like nonstop, zero fucking funds. Um, so it got to the point where he like wasn't showering. He was like losing teeth. And is he seventy years old and lives in OB with him? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, crotchety as fuck. <laughs> so finally, his mom is like, "You gotta come back and get your shit together. Like, you can't yeah. be down in San Diego anymore. Please. Yeah, please. Like, you're you're basically homeless. Like, come back to 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 the Bay Area." So he moved back there and ended up moving in with like his aunt. And like the whole time, he's like, "I'm gonna miss you guys. Like, I really want to like keep in touch." K I T. But yeah, as soon as he fucking skipped town, he that we never heard from him again. And so we have people who were like really good friends with him who kept trying to figure out where the fuck he was at. And they would like run into him here and there. Like he was like working at a fucking, uh, at a um, pizzeria no, or no, something. No, what, no. What's the, the, the big liquor store? Um, Bevmo. 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 Yeah. 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 So he like, he's like working at Bevmo and then like lose, lose touch with him for a while. And then one of our other friends finally reached out to his mom and was like, Hey, where, you know, where's, where's John Jesus? And, <laughs> um, <laughs> Did he look like Jesus or something? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah. John, <laughs> Jesus. John Jesus. I love that, this was the, that was the name we gave him. Um, <laughs> and uh, and so she's like, oh yeah, like he's living in in like like Oakland or Richmond or some shit like yeah. that, like straight in the fucking hood. And he goes and he seeks him out. Turns out this dude got shot in the back. Oh, oh no. no! Trying to buy drugs. Oh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I feel bad. Why are you laughing about poor John Jesus? <laughs> How do you shoot Jesus? Yeah, How do you yeah. shoot John Jesus? How do you shoot a guy named Jesus? Know, ask Where's the, he crippled? That's the fucking Roman. Yeah, is he in a, that's <laughs> what I'm picturing. Is he in a wheelchair? No, no. He just, he just got the got the bullet oh, taken now, out of him. Now, oh, now, oh, now it's funny. Now, oh, okay, but now yeah, not yeah, only that, on top no, of all like that, scar now he's got a fucking painkiller addiction yeah. that he fucking has well, no, to nurture. That's the other thing. He was all like methadone and fucking all yeah. kinds of shit. He had a pain... Addiction. But yeah, so I mean, he was like, he was trying to, I think he was trying to like sell stolen goods or trade stolen goods in to get crack or some shit like that. Man, that shit happened so fucking quick too. Yeah. Fuck around for two years and you'll be fucking homeless. Yeah. yeah. I <laughs> wonder. Like, but you have to have that, that, that person. Like, it's just, there's certain type of people that that's how they end up. Like it, there was, there was nothing that anybody could do that was going to stop him from being that guy. But there's nothing that destiny. anyone can do to stop anybody from being that person. Though. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like that person is that person for a reason. I've feared that at points in my life. I'm like, man, yeah. what if I were homeless? Like, yeah. fuck. It, it, I, you're two steps from being homeless and you're three steps from being in, or you're one step really from being in jail for the rest yeah, of your life. Be thankful you got a roof over your I fucking mean, you head. You can make one yes. stupid error in judgment Fucking, you know, have one extra make vodka one stupid tonic. comment on a podcast, yeah. and the next yeah. you know, <laughs> jail, jail, no <laughs> knock raid. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Oh no, I forgot. God damn it, Dom! It's <laughs> contagious. I know, right? It's contagious. Um, oh no, have you guys ever been walking down the street and you're like, oh, this would be a good spot to be if you're homeless? Like you're like looking like, eh, if, if shit's ever, you know, hits yeah. the fan. And yeah. yeah. If I'm down on my luck, that's where I'm sleeping yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> or like, if I had a tent, I'd probably I put one. I'd, Put my tent right there. I've never thought about it, but now I need to start. It. Start yeah. looking. Yeah, figure it out. Worst man. case scenario. Plan <laughs> be horrible. We'll That'll podcast be. for cash. <laughs> <laughs> we had uh what's his name that was on the show? I'm think trying to think it was alias uh, uh Bloom? Yeah, Orlando Bloom. Yeah. yeah. He he got evicted from his place, and yeah, he was like r walking around PB one day, and everybody has a real job, so nobody's like there to help him out, you know. So he's wandering around PB with his suitcase, with like the only stuff that he could take with him, trying to figure out where to go. And he's by the public library in, in Pacific Beach, and there's always a bunch of homeless people out there. Of course. So he's thinking he's like, oh, well, they're always here. Like, hey, would you mind like watching this while I go to the? <laughs> Are you oh kidding me? Yeah, like, to, 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 he was going to go to like the internet cafe or wherever, like the FedEx, or wherever you get online, you know? Please watch my only belongings. Yeah. Came back like 20 minutes later, gone. Yeah, of course. <laughs> he buys Ace for fucking $100, doesn't yeah. he? <laughs> of course. That's like the dumbest thing. You're, you're not you're not homeless bros. Yeah. <laughs> like you're not like, but like every man for himself. Yeah. <laughs> but like the guy, you know, like Orlando Bloom is such a free loving hippie type. That's a him that just made sense. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? He's like the kind of dude who like will let the random guy just hang out at his house all day. The streets will educate you real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's ridiculous. Wait, you mean to tell me I can't leave my stuff with a random homeless person who I have no idea who he is? Who's looking for any money to buy drugs? Anything? What he did can he sell? have? Anything in the suitcase? No, it was just like clothes and shit. Oh, wasn't okay. Like, which for him is like ripped jeans. And yeah, and <laughs> a tank top. <laughs> a tank top. Yeah, yeah, of that's course. True. That's true. 
They were walking around PB and that dude's like clothes were just like falling off and his like dick is hanging out. <laughs> he, Orlando Bloom though, of all the motherfuckers I've actually encountered in my life, like I could see him being homeless. And fun loving though. Yeah. Yeah. That's but I, I don't think he would he would never be homeless because there would always be somebody to like take care of him. He's a good person. Yeah. Yeah. I've never met him, have I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been in PB for how long, DJ? No, nah, you, you met him. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's for sure. He's yeah. a good shit. Yeah. He's got long hair? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he got long he hair. He did. He did. It doesn't now, but yeah. 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 I, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the person I was thinking of. Oh, all right, all right. Orlando Blue. All right. You I right? wish he didn't have a girlfriend. I would love to have him on again. Yeah. Wait, At least when he's not drunk. Why does he? Wait, what? what's, what's the, the girlfriend? girlfriend? Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? You hitting on him? Because she wouldn't allow it. Oh, really? Yeah. You said that, like, we should all just assume it, and that's not an assumption I would well, make. Well, like, there's, like, certain types of people like him who, like, he doesn't give a fuck, so being told what to do, like, isn't a big deal to him. You know mm. what I mean? Like, he needs people to, like, like be his mother, essentially. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what should we pop the seat? Get the fuck out of here? Let's Are we fucking, really? At Trip? an hour? Got we got that mark? Got we got that mark. Yeah. Fuck man, there's no break shit. Like it just yeah. it just goes by. What do you mean there are breaks before? By. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those who don't know. <laughs> yeah. All I right. mean Scoop spends hours editing these. I used to. Not anymore. Yeah. Not anymore. Because you guys bought this camera for Wait, us. Yeah. You know? Should we are we gonna make him be the look at it like yeah, he's, he's, hot. He's, he's, he's like, dude, fuck yeah, it's, y'all. we just hit San Diego summer, so it's you know, it's like 114 right now. <laughs> And uh, poor, poor. Z- I mean, he's dying over here. We can't force him to he's eat so, it up. Like I'm watching him sit next to Alex. He's just like, why is he next to me? I'm like the hottest person, uh, he's, hairiest he's person just happy. here. He's like, his eyes are closing right now. He's falling asleep. Uh, we'll all right, we'll, we'll, we'll let you this slide. We'll let Thanks you for all the support, everybody. Yep. Like this, uh, even or, or downvote. That's fine too. Or uh, uh, subscribe. How or many downvotes comment. did the last episode get? They get a handful of haters from Instagram. It's all from Instagram. Really? Oh, yeah. And then they message, of course. Fuck your you, show. Post memes. Of course. Yeah. And then uh, they always say, you know, your podcast fucking stuff. Okay, cool. And then I just respond with, uh, oh, thanks for this all the support. And I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just always respond like, okay, I guess we're going to stop now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, why, yeah. Are you so, why are it. people, why are you so bitter? Any, why are you that's so the mad? thing is anybody who, like, if I don't like something on the internet, uh, that's fine, but I'm, I just move on. I go about my day. Yeah, whatever. I mean, that's not that many. Honestly, it's only like a couple of And nobody's going to stop doing what they're doing because you have an opinion about it either. No. That's the other thing. And if they do, then you shouldn't be, then they're fucking pussies. Anyway. Yeah. Or you should turn it around on them and say, all right, you know what? You're right. We're going to stop doing the show, <laughs> but w- here's the deal. We're going to tell all of the people who do follow us and enjoy the show that it's because of you. Yes. So good luck with that. Yes. No, go fuck yourself. We should just have anybody who really talks shit on as a guest and just fucking roast them. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. They probably have fun. Yeah, there's that one guy from San Diego who would yeah. get mad at fucking Bradley and Shoney. Who what? There was some guy who was like, would leave a bunch of comments, man. Fuck Bradley, you're taking photos at clubs. <laughs> like all kinds uh, of stuff. I, I don't even remember that. <laughs> fuck you and your job. Yeah. <laughs> Pile of shit. I was like, dude, like, why is this guy so angry against Bradley for some reason? I don't even remember it. Maybe I fucked his chick or his That's ex a, or yeah. something. It was both. It was both you and Shoney. He was just like angry about, hmm. but he was like referencing the club life in downtown San Diego. So it makes me feel like I don't even remember. He probably this. saw you like in VIP taking You're pictures. Like, hey, of his can you take a picture? You're like, nah. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. It was some douche asshole who fucking was like, "Hey, fucking picture guy." Yeah, that, that was my favorite picture guy. Go fuck your fucking or, self. Or one of those guys who comes up and is like, "Hey man, those chicks are hot." You you know you probably do you a bunch of pussy. oh that yeah. all the time, all the time. Can I'm we, so glad I don't fucking do that anymore. Can, can and we, yes, we can drop the e. Can you, please <laughs> drop the e. P- p- please. Are we get you got a pee pee? I, I got shit. Pee pee. Let's pop this e. All right, boys. Oh, what's right. up? Ziggs, you got a what, what? did you get all excited for? All right, so. Three, uh-huh. two, yeah. one. one. <laughs> <laughs>